Well, the sample has landed. I'm talking about a long awaited sample of an asteroid that's now on U.S. soil this morning after seven years in deep space. NASA says the asteroid piece could give the give us answers about Earth and our solar system. ABC's Gio Benitez reports on the Osiris Rex and its incredible mission to bring that sample to Earth. This morning, Osiris Rex speeding back to Earth after a 4.4 billion mile journey through space and just moments ago. <laughs> celebration inside Lockheed Martin's Mission Control in Colorado. GMA cameras there. The moment Osiris Rex from the edge of space, 63,000 miles away, successfully released a capsule with precious cargo on board, a piece of an asteroid 4.5 billion years old. Missions like this, and telescopic observations help us characterize these kinds of objects. The mission will conclude seven years of research worth over a billion dollars to capture samples of the asteroid Bennu, which scientists hope will help us understand the origins of life on Earth. There are about nine ounces of the asteroid in the capsule. We're trying to learn what planets are made of, where did the, the water and the organic molecules on the Earth and other planets come from, and here's Here's some samples of that that are going to come back to the Earth to be studied in laboratories all over the world for decades. Studying asteroids is critical for hundreds of scientists around the world, in part because of the fear that one could collide with our planet. Remember that scene in the hit movie Armageddon? Zero barriers about to be breached. NASA scientists predict a slim 1 in 2,700 chance that the asteroid Bennu, said to be as big as the Empire State Building, could strike Earth far, far into the future in the year 2182. Now the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, which stayed at the edge of space after releasing the capsule, slingshots back into the deep unknown for its next mission, a sample from another asteroid, Apophis. That was ABC's Gio Benitez reporting on that touchdown for science. The sample landed in the Utah desert at 7.52 this morning. That's our time. Right now, crews are trying to recover the capsule, and once they do that, they will send it to NASA so scientists can start analyzing the asteroid piece. So some exciting science going on in space back here on Earth.